Women don't want to get married, but they do want a wedding. Ever since they was little, they saw movies of wedding dresses and, oh, when I get married, it's going to get older and get married, it's going to be beautiful. Oh, I'm going to get a this, I'm going to get that. Uh, people are going to clap for me. I'm going to have a beautiful dress. My hair going to be decked out. I'm going to be so beautiful. I'm going to have this expensive, beautiful diamond ring that look like a sun or a star on my finger. There's nothing wrong with those things. But when it comes to cooking and cleaning and being supportive of their man and choosing the right man that's going to love them and be down for him whether he's sick or poor or struggling financially or whatever the case is, trying to please him with an open heart and an unselfish heart and a non-measurable heart sexually in the bedroom, that's when it becomes a challenge. When being submissive and choosing a man that, and not taking advantage of a good man that really love her, you know, not taking advantage of a man that's um, communicating well, that wants to be a good man, you know, an imperfect man that wants to be a good man and showing effort not trying to use that against him to manipulate him. That's when the challenge comes. The challenge comes when that happens. But all the lights, camera, action, that cake, having a face on the cake, and the man, and oh, look at the cake, and look, who, look with the gifts and all this stuff, and throwing the, the butterflies up in the air, the lights, camera, action, the slow dance, having a singer at the wedding. Ooh, if you woo, woo, woo. If you won't, 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 if you won't, 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 having all that done, the next thing you know, they say, I'm tired of him. Now, all of a sudden, it's not just dating twice a week, four times a month or whatever the case is, or just seeing each other on weekends. Now you got to listen to him farting his sleep, burping, grinding his teeth at night, Hawking, you know what I'm saying? He got to hear you fart in your sleep, hear you scratch your head. He got to smell your morning breath. You got to smell his morning breath. You see what I'm saying? Are you going to forget to wipe your backside after you use the number two boogalooga boo boo? Hmm? Now, all of a sudden, I don't want to be with him. I want to cheat on him with the, with the dude at work. I want to cheat on him with this. I want to cheat on him with that. You see what I'm saying? That's when the problems come. The problems come when the reality hits. Everything is fantasy with the wedding. You know, everything is new. Oh, girl, I'm so happy for you. I hope I'm next. I hope I get a man like you do. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's all good and dandy. But how about the actual marriage when he's, the reality starts? When you got to stay with somebody for real, when you got to cons be concerned about their health. You know what I'm saying? When you pose to got married for the right reasons, but you realize that you got married for status or because he, because he make more money than you. or And this don't goes for all women, but it goes for a lot. What happens then when you dealing with those type of situations? Everybody can act good. Everybody, everybody can be happy during the wedding. It looks so good, it looks so innocent. But reality comes Reality comes after the wedding. That's when reality comes. So you got to understand in this world, it's more than just the lights, camera, action. You got to analyze your motives as a female. You got to analyze, and a man got to analyze his motives. And a female got to analyze his motives. Is it genuine? Is his motives genuine? Are your motives genuine? That's when you know it's pure. Okay, 
Our marriage is deeper than just lights, camera, action, money, looks, and status. Our marriage is a spiritual connection, a mental connection, emotional, and a spiritual, soul-filled, soulful connection. And we put God in the forefront of our relationship. We are physically attracted to each other beyond measure. But most importantly, we have a spiritual and mental and emotional connection. And we are we're willing to sacrifice for each other. That's when it's real. But when it's just physical and it was just what this person do for a living, if because this person have enough money to travel to seven seas and you want to take pictures and show the world that my look at my life. Um, I can do anything any anybody else can do, any rich person can do. I can go where they can go. That's when it's a superficial lifestyle. Because if those conditions ever go the opposite way, he ever gets sick, get bankrupt or sued. Then all of a sudden, oh, I'm ready to leave him. It's not working. I just, I'm not feeling it. Got to change your heart. It's not him, it's me. Uh, it just, I grew out of love. All these different excuses. Why you not with the man you said you was going to be with forever? And to death do us part. Now all of a sudden, there's a problem. You're ready to leave. You're ready to cheat at the job. You're ready to cheat with your personal trainer. <laughs> you never think that something's going to happen, but God will have a way. God have a way of always exposing fake relationships. And that's going to be the next title of Alan Williams, the Millionaire, Life Coaching Ministries. You know who I am. If you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, inbox me or write on a, a post, comment on a post, leave your email or email me at therealionairedyahoo.com, no spaces or are the 64 are the 64 at yahoo.com. You know, so you got to understand so many people are getting married for the wedding and so many women they just want to you know they really want a wedding they in their mind when they think of marriage they don't think of the the actual i'm gonna show him that i love him i'm gonna i'm gonna sacrifice for him like he'll sacrifice for me you know i'm not gonna measure what i do for him what he do for me because i know he already loved me and he's gonna do what he can do and i'm gonna let him do it at his own time, I'm not gonna withhold and compare. He never did this for me, so I'm not gonna do it. For, it's not a tit for tat type relationship. And that's what happens all the time. All the time, you see people getting married for the lights, camera, and action, but they're not getting married for the right reasons. Unconditional, agape love, sacrifice, non controlling, non bias. Just strictly, I love you. You know, and, and I'm going to enjoy every moment with you like it's our last moments. That's how lovers do. Like lovers do. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. Like lovers do. Talk to me. Like lovers do. So lovers do these things. Lovers concern about each other's health. Lovers start their own business. They don't say, oh, you don't make enough money for me. No, I love you as a person. We're going to make this money together. We're going to make this money together as a team. Not you got to have in order for me to get on, jump on the bandwagon. That's weakness. That's not bond. Hey, look here. Write in the comment section on what you want me to talk about next. I love you, but Jesus love you more. Alan Williams, the millionaire, we out.
Until next time, Brilliant Nation, we out.